duck. Welcome to part two of this uh, striking beauty, the python, the caput python. What I've done is I have got my artwork here, copied onto the clear, and I'm going to use this to do the print. This is going to be my second colour. Well, a lot of people have been asking about buying my artwork and it costs a bit of money. But this time, the screen printing, I'm thinking this is the way a lot of people can have a bit of my artwork at not as much money and they might just you know, buy for a little bit and hopefully it'll accumulate in money and be a good investment. Uh, look at the collector's item here, because these are going to be very limited edition prints. So that's going to be the green background. So I'm going to do this to every single colour. Every colour is going to be separated, done differently. So for the next colour. the brown, the tanny colour. There's a screen. I'm going to give you a little screen printing demonstration. This is how it's done. We're in a dark room because this is a photographic process. The screen's just got a mesh on there. I'm going to coat this screen with a photographic emulsion, which is just a runny, gooey stuff. It takes a bit of skill, but I had actually done this for years. Because for years I ran my own t-shirt screen printing business. The trick is to get it even and press real firmly and that will stop all the unevenness. And a nice thin coat, you don't want thick bits in it. So, real good going on the back end and then you do it on the inside. Back in playing it there, 
here, skinning it, press tightening it to the glass. The light is on. The stuff that I coated, the, the photo emulsion stuff, now that is going to harden with that light. And the bits that don't get the light on, okay. So all the bits, all the bits there which I've drawn on is not going to get the light. And that's going to wash out, leaving just the bits that uh, do get the light. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Now we're going to give it a light spread for some water. Next bit, we uh, have to block out bits of the screen because sometimes little bits of dust or imperfections will make it, you know, print where you don't want it to print. So, just a little touch up. I've stuck the artwork down so it's all lined up. The first colour I'm going to print is green. That out of the way. I'll put little marks here, and that's where I'm going to put the paper every time. Every time I do a print, I'm trying to get the ink out and get messy with it. The table here, it's got all these little holes. There's a vacuum underneath and that holds the paper in place. This just comes down. print the last colour, the black, and this is going to be make or break time. Either the last four, no, last five hours I've been printing has been all wasted or it's all worthwhile and I'm going to find out in just a moment. Clean up and get out of here. 